Have you been hearing about this Derek Jackson scandal that's going on lately? If you've watched my dating and relationship videos, there's a good chance that you've heard of Derek Jackson and that this stuff might be popping up on your feed as well, just like it's been popping up on mine. So I figured we'll talk about it. Like, let's have a chat. But you know what? I think we may need a drink for this one. Okay, so I've seen a few other people make videos about the situation, giving their take, reacting to it, and the like. <laughs> I did see the video that it looks like he's gonna be reacting to, which was Derek Jackson reacting to his own confession video. We'll get into it. It's kind of a mess, it's a little bit juicy. I'm not usually into like gossip and the, the tea and the shady scandal stuff, but this just seems to be everywhere and I think there's a good opportunity for us to address some of this. So I will say before we get into Kev on Stage's video that I have seen, I mean, some of Derek Jackson's videos he has a lot of them, so I'm sure not most of them. But for the most part, I have agreed with a lot of the messages he shared. I make content that's very similar in the message as far as, you know, don't settle, level up, do better, love yourself, don't let anybody treat you badly, that kind of thing. So his message has always resonated with me in that way. Now with that said, this is yet <laughs> more evidence that we should not be like caping for anyone, you know what I mean? The whole stan and fan culture and this and that. When we start to, and he talks about it in his video, talking about idolizing people. The way he uses it is a little bit problematic, but when we do start to idolize certain people, you know, we see their best, attributes and their best characteristics because that's what they show us and then we find out that they've done things that are not so great that might be terrible that might be hurtful that might be you know whatever the case is it can have a way of skewing our mindset about them so i feel like although i've enjoyed a lot of his videos and the message that he puts out this is yet another reminder that we're all human and <laughs> even those of us who share the best, most positive, uplifting, empowering message don't always practice what we preach, you know what I mean? Or we may not always be in line with those values or we may not have always been that way. So anyway, anyway, let's get into it. Self-proclaimed okay. relationship guru Derek Jackson reacted to his own cheating confession video in third person, for real. For it may be. So, when I looked in the comments of this video, uh, I don't know if old boy was trolling or not, but he said, D, I think I want to see... And I'll leave links to everything, like all the videos, Kev on stage, Derek Jackson's, the whole saga that I've seen. Again, I don't follow this stuff. I'm not gonna go dig up websites and pages and evidence and stuff. I'm gonna just show you what I've seen and what I'm responding to or reacting to. Your reaction to this video, so let's do it. And by the way, I'm gonna speak in third person. Um, a lot of you already seen this, but this is Derek Jackson. Um, a lot of people think of him as a relationship expert and guru and all of that. Well. He and his wife are making this video because apparently at some point in their marriage or maybe even beforehand in the relationship, he didn't take his own advice and he stepped out and he got involved with other women as you've heard them say. Now, upon first impression, nothing really stuck out to me about him, but more so about the wife. Like I heard her say that she stands for us and she's proud to love him. Um, I heard her say that, you know, this is some time ago. They've already processed this, overcame this, dealt with this a long time ago and nothing's really new to her. But just by her body language, I was really wondering, like, did he force her to do this video? Super uncomfortable, like she doesn't want to be there. But then I watched their live chat that they did right afterwards, and you know, I kind of caught that this is just a part of her personality, so that kind of explains somewhat of her demeanor. You know, she clearly has a mind of her own if you saw the live chat too, and she said that the live chat even was her idea. Um, so with that, cool. She wants to stand by her husband, she feels like he's worth it, she has that right. Now, as far as what he said, 
I understand and I, and I completely applaud him taking accountability because too many times we see dudes and they got this side <laughs> story about how they were raised and, you know, they broke it home and the goldfish died and they never seen a marriage and all. He didn't do that. He just took accountability. Regardless, whether you like him, love him or hate him, I think this is a great example as to why we don't need to be putting any... Okay, so this version of the video is edited. Hopefully you can hear it clearly <laughs> just by the way we have it set up here. But this third person thing, this that idea was a terrible idea. That shouldn't have happened. It comes off as bizarre. It comes off as strange. It comes off as weird. It comes off, um, based on some of the comments that I've seen, some people feel like he is arrogant. Some people have called him a narcissist. Some people have said he's manipulative. Now, I don't, I doubt that any of us or many of us really have the qualifications to diagnose this man with anything. Some people said he's a sociopath, all kinds of stuff. Like these are big accusations, right? I will say the third person was a bad idea. I cringed the entire time because as much as I don't approve of cheating, infidelity, misleading people, hiding things, whatever else he might be guilty of or accused of or whatever. I also have empathy for everyone. You know what I mean? Like I also empathize on some level and it's hard when you do stuff like this that's just like, come on man, like this doesn't help at all. Matter of fact, take this video down. Take it down right now, please. All right, let's continue. Anybody on the pedestal, nobody. And I think a lot of women did that. And I'm not even gonna say it's the women's fault by themselves because this dude, he never really showed his struggle. You know, we understand, oh, we're all humans and we all make mistakes, but he never showed those mistakes, not for real. I think he wrote about it or something like that, but he never showed that side. So it's not really all on the women, but I've seen a lot of women put this dude on the pedestal to the point of idealizing him and even comparing their man to him. So this is like- Okay, give me a sec, Kev, I'm a, we gonna get to you. So it, I'm torn because I agree with that point. I agree that I've seen a lot of idealizing of him, a lot of people crushing on him previously in his comments, like, ooh, if only I could find a man like you, like you really get it in X, Y, Z. So I can see that part of it. But at the same time, I know that a lot of people receive that as him putting the blame on someone else for being like, well, it's y'all fault for thinking I was better than that. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? when what you've been sharing in your videos seem to imply that you are better than that. Plus, it is also very easy <laughs> to give yourself props <laughs> for where you think you're shining, right? He started off the video for being like, you know what? Good for him, he took accountability. I'm like, bro, we remember that that's you. Come on now, this was a bad idea. Why, don't, don't. I don't think it, it came across well at all. But you know, we all gotta live with the outcomes of our decisions, basically. That's just how it works. Cheatception. He's basically admitting to the cheating in the video and then explaining himself by himself, talking about himself as if he's not himself. He's, he's separated himself from the action and he's, he's picking himself up. Yes, he is. He said as if he's not himself. Exactly. That's exactly it. He's like, he took accountability. Good for him. Y'all give him his flowers. Like, come on. That's like, what? We see what you're doing. Not a good look. He gave his own self-prop. <laughs> I love the way that guy took accountability. Most guys wouldn't take accountability, but not Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson, <laughs> if he's nothing else, he's accountable. You know and what, Kevin, we here. I don't know your thinking. I feel I feel you. A clown? Is that what he's saying? <laughs> but I am dead serious when I say this. This is genius. This is genius. He gets to say whatever everybody else is thinking. Defend that and act. Some people interpret it as him being like a sociopath slash psychopath, which they're not the same thing, so it shouldn't be a slash, but those words were used interchangeably in the comments. So, uh, I don't know, you could love it, but I'm a little scared by it. I was weirded out by it, I will say, as someone who has enjoyed his content in the past. 
look like it's not him and his own wife in the video. I mean, what else can he do? The credibility is gone. The whole, the jig is up, as they say. But he went right back into that car and said, the jig is what? Up. I'll show you. I'm going to pick that guy up. And, and if you think he's not selling products still, you're wrong. I know some people will see this type of video, even though he's come forward and he's been completely honest. Uh, some people are just going <laughs> to close the book on me. Some people are going to close the book on this dude and say, you know what? I'm done with you. Cancel you. Cancel culture. Come here. I'm more so on the side of his wife and, and just basically letting this be mm -hmm. a new chapter of how I see him. Because I do believe that his content over the years has helped a tremendous amount of people. Hey, you know. You know he tell the truth. He speaks facts. And quite honestly, let me be real with y'all, I've needed several new chapters in my own life. Lord knows. And I'm not ashamed to say it. But. Sure, that's creepy. Stop it. You're the same person. Stop. <laughs> Stop. But I agree with another part of that, right? Like his videos have helped a lot of people, which is how he's amassed the following that he's amassed. And when Kev says the jig is up, it's like, is it though? Is it? Is it really up? Because his audience will largely still be there. There will be some people who check out and jump ship and they're like, you know what? No, I, I feel some type of way. And I feel like they have a right to feel however they feel. I don't know how they feel, but they have a right to their feelings. And it's their choice whether or not they want to continue supporting him. But I don't know that the jig is up because I have been hearing his book mentioned, whatever it is, healed together, something, something he says it in that video as well, where he may be looking to reach men and women who have been in situations where there's infidelity and cheating and such, who have stayed together because a lot of people do stay. However we may feel about that, a lot of people do stay. And perhaps now this book is teaching you how to do that. And all this is great press. It's great publicity. And if anything, I don't like to accuse people of things, so I'm not gonna say it's a publicity son, but looking at how the videos have been released, there's a lot of buzz around it and like the gossip YouTube world, he himself have released I think from what I've seen so far, about three videos consecutively about this. And in each of them, he probably mentioned his book and you know, any opportunities he has going on. You know what I mean? So this is great press and that seems to flip, flip? That seems to fit the common blueprint of these YouTube publicity stunts. The hashtag, my truth, sharing our story, speaking out, and confessing finally and once and for all, like a lot of creators have done this and have gotten a lot of traction on their channel using these tactics. So I mean, I don't know if it's intentional, but we know it's effective. People watching, people talking, I'm talking, we talking, he talking, you know what I mean? So it's effective. But he's right, there are some people who are gonna be done with him. And I don't think it's fair for him to like blame cancel culture or whatever the case is, because we do all have to be accountable for our actions. Again, there are gonna be consequences, whatever we choose, whether the outcomes are good or bad or otherwise, we are gonna have to face the outcomes of our choices, all of us, you, me, all of us. And so, it looks like the, the chickens are coming home to roost, whatever that may look like for him. I don't think it's fair for him to like single out cancel culture as you know a potential culprit here because his followers and supporters have a reason to feel some type of way. That's all I'm saying. Actual accountability is important and actually owning up and accepting whatever comes with it is necessary. It's not like, oh, we're just canceling you because we don't like you. It's like, oh no, but you did this thing that a lot of people thought was kind of messed up. So if you want the support of these people, perhaps you could address this thing in a way that makes them feel heard and understood and doesn't make you come off as arrogant and possibly psychotic in some kind of way. I mean, I don't know. I'm just talking here, you know, I don't know. I'm just talking. We just exploring possibilities. I'm no guru. Those are just my thoughts. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. And by the way, 
he has a book detailing how he and his wife overcame all of this in their private lives <laughs> all time ago matter of fact it's called heal together without hurting ah battery died <laughs> just in the middle of himself but y'all don't want to hear about the book has a book detailing how he and his oh, wife yeah. overcame all of this in their private lives all time ago matter of fact it's called heal together without hurting each other so if you're in a situation like this you want to let god in to totally restore it better than new uh, click the link down in the bio or up in the bio in the caption i got a 50 percent off deal for you guys who are watching this video right now man listen it's complete audacity an only and creative genius narcissist oh, i don't even know only a person a lot of people are throwing around that N-word, the narcissist, you know what I mean? I feel I respect the creativity, but certain things are just still bad moves. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. And I don't necessarily think that it went the way he expected it to because now the comments are turned off on his videos. You can't see the percentage of likes and dislikes and such. And uh, yeah, I feel like the comments probably weren't what he wanted to see. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I got a move the whole thing on the back. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a big hit up. Yeah, I'm gonna take a big hit up. Yeah, I'm gonna take a big hit up. Bruh, I am flabbergasted. I really am like, nah, you, you, you lying. He is dead serious. Like, y'all gonna leave me? I wouldn't leave, I mean, not me. Y'all gonna leave <laughs> me? No, I'm not me. Not Derek. Uh, Derek Jackson, me, Jerry Maxson, I'm gonna give Derek Jackson another shot. And if mm -hmm. you would too, I, he would, we would. Uh, uh, I mean, he's a little smoother with it than that, but that's part of what makes it scary, right? That you can so smoothly talk about yourself in the third person as if you're completely detached or disassociated disassociated dissociated anyway from yourself from the being that is you that is i mean i mean he's Please foolish though. don't leave him us we don't <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad that he wiped his tears. Wait a minute. I am mad that he wiped his tears. But yeah, it's popping up everywhere. And I mean, I haven't seen all that many, but it, it's, it's everywhere. And so <sighs> we'll see how this works out for Mr. Jackson and his wife and his women and everything that comes with it and his business and his brand we'll see i don't know maybe he is a manipulator maybe he is a narcissist maybe he has been gaslighting us this entire time and this is just a further a further demonstration of that you know i think it's so tricky though because i don't necessarily think the scandal invalidates his entire message because there were many videos of his that I've seen that I was like, amen, hell yes, exactly. This is what I've been saying, you know? So him having this indiscretion or multiple or whatever the situation was, I don't really know. I heard rumors about there being like him living like a, se a second life or like an alternate life with another woman while he was married to his wife, look, I don't know, I don't know. So I guess all that's alleged as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't know, and I really don't care to be honest. Like, it's not my business. I feel like a lot of that is between him and his wife. As someone who has enjoyed his videos in the past, again, I don't know that this stuff going on in his personal life completely erases the truth in his message. And if anything, if anything, if anything, it kind of gives us more of an idea of where his knowledge and his know-how and his expertise on the subject matter comes from, right? Because you know what you teach. No, that's not how they say it. You teach what you know. That's how they say it. <laughs> you teach what you know. This man has obviously been putting us on to game for years now. 
letting us know how certain kind of men think, how certain kind of men behave, how they react, how they'll how they'll maneuver in a situation. Like, where could he possibly know this from? How could he possibly have learned this stuff? I don't know, let's think about it for a second. You teach what you know. So it could be that because of all the experiences in his personal life, that he knows how to warn us about certain dysfunctional behaviors or certain toxic dynamics. Who better to teach you about men who are up to no good than a man who is up to no good or who has been up to no good at some point in his life? That's how he knows. That's how he's telling us. That's how he learned it. That's how he knows it. <laughs> so I can't say that this is necessarily all that surprising to me. I personally don't feel as strongly about this as a lot of people seem to. I personally don't feel like it's my business what goes on in his personal life and the things that he's done in his relationship with his wife and his women, whether or not he's having affairs, living double life. So that's what it's called, double life, second life. What? Was that an app? Was that a website? Where did I get Second Life from? Anyway, whether or not he's living a double life or anything like that, like that's not, that's not my battle to fight. That's not my burden to bear. That's between him and his wife. I don't feel betrayed by him. I don't feel like he lied to me, betrayed me, misled me per se. Although I could see how people can start to question his character now because that is a big thing that happens when you break someone's trust or when you break vows, when you break your word, people can now start to see you in a different light and start to worry or wonder if you're a person of your word, a man of your word, and if you can be trusted, if you can be trustworthy. So that's a thing. But I feel like I have developed the ability over the years to accept the message even if the messenger is problematic at times. Because let's face it, most messengers are gonna be human. None of us are perfect. And I don't say that as like a cop out, cover all like, oh, he's not perfect, don't expect perfection, move on. I don't say it as to like gloss over what has happened and the, the indiscretions and all that stuff. Accountability is necessary for sure. But at the same time, it's like, Imperfect humans do imperfect human stuff. Like, I can't say I'm shocked. <laughs> I can't say I'm shocked. I really can't. I'm also not one of the people who's like, I knew it. I knew that he's been scheming and lying and manipulating y'all women all along. Just telling y'all what y'all wanna hear and yada yada. I mean, perhaps, I don't know, perhaps. And I really am not that invested enough to care and play that I told you so game with anyone. I will say that if he's spreading a message of women, you should be loved, you should be respected, you should be cherished, you should be honored, you should be appreciated, you shouldn't be cheated on, even if he is secretly cheating on his wife, that doesn't make the message wrong. Cause he know he shouldn't be cheating, you know what I mean? Like he know it, you know it, we all know it. When you take vows, that's something you should not be doing. I don't know that I've ever heard him say in a video, I would never cheat. I have never cheated. If that were the case, I'd be like, ah, oh, mm, see, caught you there. Although I did see a photo of him wearing a black men don't cheat sweater. I don't know if that was real. I don't know if that was photoshopped. We know that whole black men don't cheat movement was like, yeah, okay guys, sure, if you say so. But either way, I feel like he's been spreading a positive message about treating women well and women wanting more and women deserving more and women striving for more and not settling for less, not selling ourselves short. What's so wrong with that message? And if we had to choose, if there was a choice, I would rather choose the man who's spreading that message while secretly cheating on his wife which is problematic, I get it, it's not ideal, I know, it's terrible, I know, I know, I know, I get it, I get it. <laughs> I would rather have that though, than the man who appears to be the perfect, doting, amazing husband, who has never cheated, who has never done that, 
but he's preaching who gives a, a F about those women, about those females. <laughs> They don't deserve respect, they don't deserve love, who cares, da, da, da. you know what I mean? Like, I would prefer the person who's spreading the positive message, even if they're not always necessarily following that positive message themselves. It would be nice if they could do both, that would be ideal. Preach the message, follow the message, lead by example, show us through your actions of what you're trying to tell us to do, you know what I mean? Show us that you truly live this, that you walk the walk, that you talk, that you walk the talk. Look, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna get all caught up over that, but you know, show us. Show us that we can, we can believe your word and that we can trust what you say when you say that women deserve better. Yes, we do. That includes your wife. And perhaps it's through these experiences that he was able to become enlightened enough to make some of these videos. I don't know, I don't know, which is why I'm like, I, I empathize, I feel for you. But if this is an L, you gotta take that L. If it's not, then you gotta take that too. Whatever the outcome is, this is the bed you have made. This is what you have to lay in and what you have to deal with. And he's obviously still using it as an opportunity to sell these books and stuff. So any press is good press. You know, any publicity is good publicity. He's now got so many more hundreds of thousands of people who are exposed to him and his work and his book through this scandal who would be over to overlook the cheat and, and all that and continue supporting him. Shit, if his wife did it, why wouldn't other people do it? He ain't cheat on that, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like if she can say she forgives him, then who are we to hold the grudge about their relationship. Yes, there can be a grudge about other things, you know, but I don't think that necessarily it's our place to be feeling as, well, not even as, to be feeling more upset about it than his own wife. Although some people are calling into question his treatment of his wife in other ways. You know, some people are saying, is she being manipulated? Is she being gaslit? Is he controlling behind the scenes? He even addressed it himself, like in that video with the, the third person reaction thing that, oh, she looks so uncomfortable. It, what was uncomfortable was you saying, like pointing it out as if you weren't there with her and then talking about, I wondered if he forced her to make this video or something. Sir, you are you, what? Huh? What? <laughs> I know that you think you're calling it out and shining the spotlight on it in a way to take the power away, but that's not that's not the way I that's not the way I took it. It just felt strange. It just felt weird. Because she did look she did look uncomfortable. And a lot of people wonder if she has been broken down emotionally and mentally and spiritually and all those things. And if she is able to present as her full self and as her best self right now. And that's all I'm gonna say about that because I don't know these people. None of us know these people. But yeah, I know a lot of people are using this as a moment to rejoice. Like I said, to do their told you so dance and to say like, I always knew he was up to no good. I always knew he was pandering to the women. I always knew he was a simp. I always knew that he was lying and this and that. I mean, okay, maybe you called it. Maybe you saw through whatever may be going on that the rest of us were fooled by or whatever it is okay say that's the case what does that really prove though at this point in time mr jackson is a big voice in this whole like dating advice for women from the perspective of a man type of scheme and so it reflects very badly i think i think my personal opinion on men who are like see we told you he was just as bad as the rest of us. It's like, what? Is that something to be proud of? Is that something to rejoice about? Is that something to be happy about? Okay, so we caught him, he's a cheater, ha ha ha. See, no men are perfect. All of us are trashy and terrible. Wait, what? Are we sure this is the point y'all trying to make? Is this the hill y'all really wanna die on? Is it? And why are some of y'all so upset by a man telling women don't settle for less. If that's your true problem with his message and with messages like his, 
that we're telling women don't settle, don't expect less. If he cheats, make him work for it. If you even kind of almost want to think about taking him back. If these are things that you don't want women to hear, why is that? Ask yourself that, I know the answer to it personally. But if you are so bothered by women being empowered and uplifted and told to want more, then I feel like you need to explore why that is. Because you should want more too, man, woman, or otherwise. You should want more too. And there shouldn't be a problem with anybody telling you that either. So this guy falling from grace or whatever it is, when he was making black men look real good, as far as the messages and the, the image that he's portraying, he was showing a positive <laughs> reflection of that through his videos and through his messages, which a lot of black women felt refreshed to see. You know what I mean? And now that he's fallen from grace, who was that a worse reflection on? The women who supported him or the men who were like, I told you so? Who, was, who does that reflect worse on? <laughs> Just, just answer me that, riddle me that in the comment section. Let me know, let me know. Cause I don't know the answer to all this stuff, but I do know that when somebody doesn't want you reaching for the stars, when somebody doesn't want you wanting the best and expecting the best, when somebody wants you to settle, when somebody wants you to be complacent and take whatever you get and not expect an inch more, when someone has an issue with you being uplifted and empowered and given solid advice that's useful to you, that encourages you to love yourself, to treat yourself well, to insist that other people treat you well too, that's damn good advice, regardless of who the messenger is. So anyhow, I'm so curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on all of this. It just feels so messy, like, there's just so much it feels like more and more is coming out every day it feels like so many people are having this conversation in the videos and in the comment sections that i i'm curious to know your thoughts i, I want to know let me know comment section down there if you enjoyed the video do the thumbs up thing subscribe if you wanna and i know that there are a thousand other things that you could be doing or watching right now so i certainly appreciate you being here with me and i look forward to seeing you in my next video Bye.